There is an innate alertness and consciousness at the center of your experience of being in this now. An afterthought is the notion that you or I is the only one with consciousness. It isn't real unless we imagine it to be so in our imaginations. We can truly enter immediacy, which is a knowledge of what it means to be mindful, to be firmly planted and immediate, if we choose not to conjure it into being, or if we simply withhold conjuring into being someone who is attentive. And that's not quite as straightforward as people typically assume, because instant is defined as occurring before you can even think about it. If you give it a thought, it no longer exists in the present, it has already passed. Instant doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stop right away and try to grab something. If you do, the moment will lose its immediacy. The instantaneity is also the timeless now. Timeless is immediate. It's not something that only exists for the shortest time conceivable. Have you ever observed that now, moments never follow one another? You don't need to hang on to a now, followed by another now, followed by another now in order to be in the present now. By the time you've seized the present now moment, the future one has already arrived. That's really not the best way to understand now. The now is timeless, and being timeless doesn't merely refer to a mental or spiritual ideal. Timelessness actually means what it says it does, there is no time. All that has ever happened, has happened in the timeless now. The timeless today was 30,000 years ago. The timeless now will exist in 30,000 years. This moment right now is the timeless now. It has a certain quality that is genuinely timeless. It's just the open field of now. Even the perception of time passing is wholly subjective. There is no consistent sensation of time passing. A 30-minute meditation session might occasionally drag on for hours. If the bell rings after what seems like just a few seconds have passed in your meditation, it may have been 30 or 40 minutes. When you're completely focused on something, time passes incredibly quickly. Time seems to drag when you're not absorbed in doing something you really don't want to be doing. But that has nothing to do with the now. Now is timeless. Now doesn't last any amount of time. The timeless isn't something out there. It is the immediate moment as it is felt in the purest, most fundamental part of existence. Being is timeless in its most basic sense. It's a state of being where it seems as though nothing has ever happened since it is free from time and exists in the timeless now, even while another area of your being can clearly feel the passing of time. Our being has a timeless aspect that goes beyond simply experiencing timelessness. We are discussing the source of all other experiences of being, the fundamental ground of being. Since it ultimately gives rise to every aspect of being, they all emerge from that immutable ground, which is bursting with possibility. Just consider how intricate and complex your entire life's experience of being has been with all of your perceptions and the things you've tasted, touched, felt, and seen emanating from this ground that at first glance appears to be nothing. I suppose that's why it takes us humans so long to disregard it. Even spiritual awakening needs to be seen outside of the limited time frame in which it is frequently described. A revelatory moment when I experienced an awakening. 
That's significant, but there's more to it than that, so we need to consider it in a broader context. You can claim that you are awake because of a revelatory experience, but awakening only has value at the very time it occurs. We are either awake or asleep at any given time. It makes no difference whether we were awake yesterday, a year ago, or even just a second ago. How awake am I right now is the pertinent question right now. The only thing that really matters is that. The now is not a moment. It is a timeless occurrence, and there is a level of spiritual enlightenment that cannot be categorized as a single instant. It doesn't actually have a start, middle, and end. That goes much, much deeper than that. 